Hi guys, uh, today we'll be talking about what you need to actually study if you need to get permanent residency. We'll be focusing on IT occupations, engineers and accountants who have been having trouble getting invitations for subclass 189. So the current situation is that unfortunately a lot of clients after finishing their studies, bachelors or masters or even working visas subclass 485 which is valid for two years are unable to meet these points just to give you a brief idea of what the points look like if you go on skill select if you go on department of home affairs and check the latest invitation round which is 21st march 2018 if you go down it'll tell you that for the pro rata occupations accountants auditors engineers and so on it's around 75 to 80 points and these are really high points usually a lot of applicants cover these points by either doing NATI PTE hours or Australian work experience or try to do professional year a lot of clients if they need to score 75 points they need to get eight in each in IELTS or equivalent as well so this is actually very difficult and just to give you an idea of how difficult that is this is a demographic data of from IELTS if you go on IELTS.org it will tell you the demographic data of 2016 and how many people actually managed to score 8, 8.5 or 9 overall so this is overall band score by percentage if you go down it will tell you country statistics and how many people from these countries who have actually given IELTS test managed to score 8, 8.5 or 9 overall a lot of our clients are from India so let's go and have a look at how many people actually managed to score 8 overall that's 9.43% 8.5 overall is 0.75% and 9 overall is 0.40%. A lot of clients from Nepal as well, so they managed to score 3.27% managed to actually score 8 overall, whereas 9 overall is scored only by 0.15%. So that's a lot of people who actually don't manage to score 8 in each and they don't have the required points for that getting an invitation for subclass 189 so this is where uh, I come up with a solution you can either do trades occupation applicants who have started started either studying uh, IT occupations or engineers or even accounting professions they they can either switch to st studying trades occupation or if you have already finished your studies and have applied for subclass 485 you can start doing trades occupations as well. Trades occupations, some of the examples include carpenter, bricklayer, electrician, chef, etc. Just to give you a brief idea of trades occupation and how in demand they actually are in Australia, if you go again back on the immigration website, Department of Home Affairs, and go down on occupation ceilings for 2017 and 2018 program year. So this is basically the seats Immigration Department of Australia allocates to each and every occupation and how many of these actually get filled. So these are the seats on the left and on the right are the uh, how many seats actually get filled. So if you go down on the trades occupation it will actually tell you how many seats are available and how many actually get filled for chefs it's 2675 and only 58 get filled electronics trades workers 1878 and only 23 get filled so all these are list of trades occupations and you can just get a brief idea of that not even 10 percent of the total seats are getting filled whereas if you compare it to accountants, IT professions or even engineers. Accountants if you go and have a look 4785 and out of which 2633 have been filled 
and this 2633 is for subclass 189 and 489 family sponsorship and the rest will be filled by other skilled visas such as ENS and RSMS as previously mentioned in my other video. So if I go back on the slides, trades occupations, carpenter, bricklayer, electrician, chef and while you're studying these uh, trades occupation you can do what is called as a job ready program. It's the quickest way of getting a full skill assessment and then applying for for your state nomination or even for your PR files later. These have four steps. Step one is provision skill assessment. Step two is job ready employment. Step three is job ready workplace assessment and step four is job ready final assessment. So the first step is provision skill assessment. So for example, if I'm a chef and I'm studying commercial cookery, after finishing my studies, either bachelor's or master's in IT, engineer or accountant, on 485, I can do certificate four in commercial cookery as well. Or if I'm a bricklayer, I can do certificate three in bricklaying. If I'm a painting trades worker, I can do a certificate three in painting and decoration. While studying these courses, you need to have a 360 hours of employment in the same field and the occupation must be on MLTSSL. So after collecting 360 hours of employment while you're studying these courses, you can apply for what is called as a provisional skill assessment, which will enable you to apply for step two to four as previously mentioned for job ready program. Step two is, <clears throat> sorry, is job ready employment. Job ready employment, it can only be done once you have a complete provision skill assessment. So if I go back on the next slide, provision skill assessment outcome should be there and you should hold a suitable visa. In most cases, it's the temporary graduate 485 visa, which is for either 1.5 years or two years respectively. Job ready employment, you need to start collecting 1725 hours after your successful step one completion and the 1725 hours you start calculating generally after the start date which is the date you have launched the JRE application which is the job ready employment application you need to maintain monthly journal describing your day-to-day -day duties and tasks and these journals have to be signed by your supervisor which is recognized and approved by Trades Recognition Australia and this occupation should be relevant to what you're studying so if you have studied Cert 4 in commercial cookery you should be working as a chef. Now after completing this and once you're halfway done through collecting 1,725 hours and you have already completed 8, 863 hours of paid employment. You require six months of job ready journals which are signed by the supervisor. You can apply for what is called as a job ready workplace assessment. And this is basically to determine whether you are operating at the required skill level. So an assessor from TRA will come and visit your workplace and give you a job ready workplace assessment after you've completed your 1725 hours which should be done in a minimum period of 12 months and signed journals you can apply for a full skill assessment you'll be provided with a full skill assessment which you can use to apply for your PR application subclass 189 190 or 489 just to give you an idea of the points calculation, if you have finished the job ready program and, a, and you want to apply for subclass 190 or 489, your age would be around 25 to 32, which would give you 30 points. Bachelor's or master's gives you 15 points. Two years of Australian study, which should be cry course based and 92 weeks gives you five points, whereas one year of Australian experience through the job ready program will give you five points. 
state sponsorship options depending on which visa you're applying for either it's subclass 190 or 489 will give you 5 to 10 points respectively whereas 6 in each in IELTS which is the minimum requirement for trades occupation skill assessment and applying for subclass 190 489 or 189 will give you zero points you can claim additional points on this if you get seven in each or eight in each but the minimum requirement to expect an invitation for state nomination options is 60 and 60 plus which you will have after the points calculation i've showed you so why study trades after IT or even engineers or even accountant occupations. Currently trades occupations are very good in, for applying for PR and most states are open for state sponsorship subclass 190 or 489. Points requirement for trades occupation is 60 which is inclusive of state nomination which means that if we have 55 points you can also apply for subclass 190 and get 60 points which is more than sufficient to expect an invitation. Trades occupations also have really high paying jobs so people who are in Australia currently they already know how well tradies get paid and they have really good career progression and it's a very cost effective way the job ready program to expect a full skill assessment and then apply for subclass 190 and 489. If you have any questions you can contact us on the information provided to you on screen. If you are in India and you would, apply, would like to apply for trades occupations you can contact us on the Indian office details provided to you on screen. If you are in Australia we have offices in Sydney and Northern Territory. Thank you and have a nice day.